Why do we fall ill? Health and its failure. What do you mean by health? What do we mean when we say he she is a healthy person? Is it related only to the body? Is it related with the mind too? One way of defining it could be being free from injury or illness. Our body is a complex network of cells, tissues, organs and systems. They are all interconnected and each group has their own specific function. They are all at work continuously. If anything goes wrong in any one, it can affect all the activities. Kidneys are filtering blood. Lungs help in inhaling and exhaling. The heart is beating and the brain is processing. If the kidney fails and stops filtering blood, poisonous substances pile up as they are not being filtered. Lungs can't work properly as it doesn't receive good blood. Heart can't work properly as it doesn't receive good blood and brain can't work properly as it doesn't receive good blood. Therefore, if anything goes wrong in any one, it can affect all the activities. If the lungs stop functioning, not enough oxygen taken in and waste gases not exhaled and hence kidneys, heart and brain can't work properly as it doesn't receive good blood. If the heart stops beating and stops pumping blood all over the body, then the kidneys, lungs and brain can't work at all as it doesn't receive any blood. Therefore, if anything goes wrong in any one, it can affect all the activities. Health Can people ever be healthy in a dirty place like this? Garbage dumps cause a serious problem. First of all, they smell a lot. Rats and mice keep swarming around it. Then there are flies and mosquitoes. It also affects the air and soil quality. Open drainages can cause serious health issues like dysentery when it mixes with drinking or cooking water. Waste water flowing through open channels looks ugly and smells horrible. You know that mosquitoes and cockroaches and flies love such areas. All this leads to the spread of diseases. Can people ever be healthy in a place which is at war? You can't get proper food to eat, can't go out and are living in constant fear. Can people ever be healthy in a place where there are riots going on? You are never sure of when a fight will break out and whether you will be a victim. Defining health is thus complex. It depends on so many factors. What else do we need to be healthy? We know about personal and public hygiene. What else? Mm, diet. Yes, we need good food for our health. We know it is important to eat the right food, especially when you are growing up. Eating healthy food helps to build our immunity. Okay, this was all about physical health. What about mental and social health? Our social behaviour matters a lot to our health. Let's look closely at this with an example. When you fight with your best friend, you get into a bad mood for a long time. On the other hand, you are happy when you have a good time with your friends and family. So, it is also necessary to keep our mind fresh to be healthy. Health is basically a state of being well enough to function well physically, mentally and socially. Physically meaning personal hygiene, good food, fitness and clean environment. Personal hygiene, good food and fitness needs money. To have a clean environment, area needs to be well looked after. For mental and social health, we need good economy so that people have money and the area is well looked after. We need a peaceful society so that there are no wars or riots going on. We need a stable society so that people are not living in fear that suddenly things could go very wrong. Understand that different people may have different ideas of being healthy. For a gymnast, being flexible enough to do all the exercises is important. For a singer, 
having the lung capacity to breathe in and sing well is important. For a runner, to have a good stamina to last for the length of the race is important. And one can be in poor health and yet not have any disease. Disease We saw what it means to be healthy. It means free from injuries or diseases. Now, what is this disease? Disease is equal to dis-ease, which is equal to discomfort or being uneasy. It simply means not feeling well. When someone is sick that is not feeling well since long, we say that the person is not healthy. The person may be physically ill. It also leads to mental and social illness. You may not have the energy to go out. You may not be allowed to meet others. You may be spending a lot of money for your medicines and treatment. Health is basically a state of being well enough to function well physically, mentally and socially. These things keep you disease-free. Personal hygiene, good food, fitness, clean environment, good economy, peaceful society, stable society. State any two conditions essential for good health. Remember this? You know so many. Personal hygiene, good food, fitness, clean environment, good economy, peaceful society, stable society. State any two conditions for being free from disease. Remember this? Personal hygiene, good food, fitness, clean environment. These things keep you disease-free. Are the answers to the two questions necessarily the same or different? And why? The conditions for being disease-free are part of the conditions of being in good health. But the reverse is not true for all conditions. This is because it is necessary to be in good health to be disease-free. However, one may be in poor health and yet not be suffering from a disease. Also, different people can have different requirements to be considered healthy. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.